Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple login frame in Java using Swing. So first step we have to do, we have to import Swing package. Now next thing, we will create a class. Let's say login and we will define our main method. So first of all, we will create a frame. And title we want to give for our frame we can specify here. So I'm give, uh, giving here login. Okay. Now in a login frame, there will be two text field. One for user ID, one for password. And password field will not show what you are typing. So in Java Swing, we are having classes for that purpose. So first of all, we will print uh, text user ID. So for that purpose, we will use J label. And we will print user ID. Next, uh, we will create a text box. So in Swing, there is a class J text field. And here we will specify how many number of uh, columns. So it will also specify actually character. So it can take the size of this text box will be uh, sufficient for accommodate 20 character. If we enter more than 20, so it will keep on scrolling. Then again, we will use a J label object to print password. Now, for password, we are not going to use this simple text field because if we use this text field, so whatever user is going to type that character will be visible. So in Swing there is a special class J password field. So we will create a object of this class. And here we specify number of columns. So we will say 20. And then we will use a button. And on this button, we will write login. So we have created five component. Now we will add all those component on the frame. So we have added our user ID level. Then we will add text field for user ID and text field for password and we will add text field for password here we have added label and here we are adding text box where we user going to provide his password and then we will add okay so we have added all the component in this frame next we will set the size So here these two parameters actually this is the width, first parameter is width, second parameter is height and we will set visibility. Okay, so we have created our frame, we have created all required components. So let's see whether our program is working or not. So we will save login.java, we will start, we will open command prompt. My file is stored on desktop, so I will change my directory to desktop and then compile this file. Okay, it's compiled, there is no error, and then I will run it. So, if we are running this program, we are uh, we can see only one component, and this is actually a button which is stressed in this frame. So the reason for this uh, awkward behavior is that 
by default border layout is used in frame so whatever so every component actually placed uh, in the bottom of this button because this login button we have added at the last so that's why this is on the top of every other component so what we are going to use is we will use a flow layout so we will set layout flow layout okay now for this layout we need to import awt package so this flow layout actually uh, add component in a flow okay i will close it okay we forgot to set default close operation and we will make it exit on close okay so now our program is okay it should work fine so we will uh, terminate this process by pressing control c i will compile this program again and run it so here if you can see uh, now we can see all component now this how this flow la flow layout works uh, it will add component in a sequence like first we have added user id text so user id text appear here then next we have added text box it appeared here so actually flow layout there are two possibility one possibility is that it will add every element in this direction or in this direction so if you change the size of your window you can see uh, so here after password text field there is no space that's why the next element put it here so let's see okay <coughs> now here uh, if we type here let's say uh, java and password if you see whatever we are typing character is not visible and this is a login button so far we have created only an interface if we try to press this button there won't be any action so for that purpose we need to go through event handling which we will see later thank you very much for watching